So we got another new exciting product here at Take Performance, a single inlet dual fuel rail adapter for Holly dual fuel rails. So basically, if you are running a Holly dual fuel rail and you want to simplify the insulation, run a single line into it, we've got this awesome new adapter to cut down on a lot of headaches, right? Absolutely. So where did the idea originally come from? I had uh, a few people reach out to me. Um, and they've seen some of the things that we do. You know, they, we work with the intercoolers on the Holly manifolds, and uh, they they knew that we might have the ability to do it. Uh, so they just asked, you know, is this something that you have planned? Uh, and at the time, um, I had given it some thought because I thought, yeah, it'd be something that we could make uh, potentially. Um, but after I started getting some requests in from people that were actually interested in us making it, I started uh, to do a little bit of prototype. Right on. And speaking of prototype, so this is kind of the early design, right, right here? Yeah, that would be the first one that we actually printed out to uh, to just test out and see if that it would work. And then it cut down to this more sleek design. So essentially it allows you, rather than having to run two separate AN lines uh, into the dual fuel rail, you can now cut that down into one large line, correct? Exactly, so a lot of people are using the same fuel uh, for both both injectors they're not running a dual, a dual fuel setup and there is people that do that um, but for the ones that are not you know they've got four lines going into the front of their rails four lines going into the rear of their rails so they've got you know a lot of hose ends a bunch of extra hose uh, and it's just kind of unorganized and you know it, it kind of it looks bad in some in some regard uh, so we wanted to find a way to simplify it, clean it up, eliminate some of those hose ends, eliminate some of those extra hoses, uh, which actually can cut down on cost uh, depending on what kind of hose ends you need for your project. Uh, so what we did is took it away from having uh, dual, you know, you got to have dual eights in this rail. So you'll have, you know, four eights back here and four eights in the front. Uh, and we've taken that down and uh, we've we've made it to where these uh, will still be an eight size here, but it has a single dash ten in them. Right on. And I know there was a lot of emphasis made into how uh, compact we can make this while keeping up with the flow, right? Yeah, so that was the, the biggest challenge for it. You know, you can see the first design, it was, it was longer. Uh, and the reason for that was uh, uh, flow characteristics. You know, that's where we started to see how much liquid you could actually move through the fitting. Um, so then I started experimenting with making it shorter and shorter. Uh, and what you don't see here is there was about three revisions between the two uh, until we finally got to the size where I was comfortable with the length of it um, because you know you're going to be screwing a fitting into this side so uh, those are, are not a, a preset length that's not an industry standard so there's a couple of different fittings someone could get that would be longer or shorter uh, which could impede the flow in the fitting so we could only go so small uh, before it become a an issue of it's not going to work with somebody else's product um, so we, we did what we could do to make it as, as tight and compact as possible and we feel like we've accomplished that. Right on, and so we'll show it on your third gen that we've got over here and how yep. close we have some to the firewall. Um, but let's run over how it's held into position and uh, what safety measures to keep it uh, firmly in place. Okay, yeah. So what we've got here is a double O-ring design. These are fluorosilicone O-rings, uh, which are resistant to pretty much any harsh chemical that's related to a fuel that you would push through your engine, alcohol, E85, gasoline, you know, whatever you guys want to run. Um, it, it can withstand that and the reason we did that is because we know that most of the time when guys need two injectors they're going to be using some type of alcohol based fuel uh, for a high horsepower application so we started off with the double o-ring design and then what we've done is this is a slip fit design uh, you screw your rail adapter into the fuel rail just like a typical AN fitting it's an o-ring seal uh, there's not an o-ring on this just for demonstration purposes uh, and then you'd screw both of these in your rail and then your adapter will slide over your your uh, Rail adapters and then from there you get a stainless steel locking clip and it's going to slide over the rail adapter fittings and Then you're going to insert the screw and it comes preset up with a loctite on it uh, to ensure that it doesn't rattle loose uh, and you're going to torque that down and that, That's going to create a, an effect to where this this can't pull apart uh, we have pressure tested this to about 150 PSI um, and we've held it at 150 PSI for hours and we've, we've held it at different pressure ratings for hours but 150 PSI for about two hours. Uh, we've also done flow testing on it, uh, we've done leak testing on it 
and, uh, and we're pretty confident with what we have. Right on. So your fittings would screw in like this. These are your rail adapters. What size are they? So the rail is a dash eight rail, um, and the fittings are, are threaded to, to thread into the dash eight rail. And the actual ID of the adapter is larger than a dash eight fuel line would be. So the fitting itself is technically bigger than an eight. It just has a dash eight thread on it. And the reason we did that again is for, for flow characteristics to ensure that uh, we can get enough enough fuel through the through the part. This one. This one. Then this would slide on. Put a, a touch of lubrication on your O rings. Make the assembly a little easier. I'm actually using Earl's AN assembly lube. Not just spit on your finger. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. And then the adapter goes on like that boom and then your rail clip would go on and you would install your rail clip and the hardware and so that bo bolt comes with thread locker already on it right yep the bolt comes with thread locker already installed um, you know if you don't like it wire brush it off use your own thread locker whatever makes you feel comfortable but we do recommend putting thread locker on there and the reason we put thread locker, we got bolts with thread locker. And the reason we did that is because I wanted to keep um, this this design here, but that kind of mimics the fuel rail. And uh, without that, you just have the flat uh, back portion where the screw goes. And uh, I thought that would look ugly on the top side. So rather than putting the bolt in through the top, I, li I like to put it in on the bottom just for, uh, just for visual really but you can you run it upside down if you, you wanted to you can run it either way um i just did that because it, it matches and it looks better uh but you can you can run it either way for ease of accessibility you can put the screw in the top it's easier to get to it makes no difference on the functionality it just in my opinion looks better this way and so do you know the total depth of the whole assembly once it's together off of the fuel rail so it adds about a, an inch and a half of distance cool and so everything in the kit is included in what we've shown here, everything except for the hose end or any fitting that you're gonna run. And what size is that again? So the uh, female portion of this is a dash 10 AN. So everything you see here will come anodized. We've got the two fittings that screw into the fuel rail are not anodized, but everything in the kits uh, that we are going to sell are hard anodized. And then the locking clip is stainless steel. So nothing's gonna corrode or uh, where hard anodizing is awesome um, for aluminum products because it'll remain, uh, keep its quality finish for a long time. So this is your third gen with the LS in it. So this is pretty much where the factory motor mounts would have been for an LS swap? Yeah, it's pretty much exactly where uh, an LS swap uh, would land in a third gen. So this application looks like you got tons of room. Yeah, in this application there are there is tons of room. I don't have a wiper motor in mine. Uh, but I don't foresee that being a, a clearance problem anyway because it's really high on the firewall versus where that fuel rail would land, even with tall injectors. So, how much is a kit and how are they sold? Uh, so we're selling them in pairs. And the reason we're doing that is because somebody might not have adequate firewall clearance on the back of their rail. I know some swaps could be tight. Um, so we want to give people the ability to eliminate as many of their lines as we can uh, so if we sell them in pairs, somebody would still be able to use a pair in the front. Uh, or if you can use use them in the rear, like on this car where you can. Um, then you just run two pairs. You just, you just purchase two pairs. Cool. And what's the retail on them? Uh, $79.99 per pair. Cool. And that includes four fittings, two of the two into ones, locking clips, and two bolts. That's correct. Right on. And uh, that actually cuts down on a lot because AN... I mean, I know AN fittings are expensive, so you're cutting down four, ideally four hose ends, not including if you're having to run a splitter in the back from your fuel pump or anything like that as well, right? Yeah, that's correct. And if you, you know, if you really look at the way fuel systems are supposed to be plumbed, um, if you had, uh, if you had enough horsepower for this uh, to run this many lines, you're going to run 
uh, a single mechanical pump uh, or probably two electric pumps. I feel like a lot of people are probably going to do two electric pumps or maybe a, a large brushless pump of some kind. Uh, more people are going to be doing mechanical in my opinion because it's the way to go. Um, but let's say that's what you're doing and you have four fuel rails you're trying, trying to plumb, you've got to go from one outlet on your pump to four. So in the way you do that is you're going to get a couple of Y fittings um, or you're going to do a custom manifold um, or you can get, I think Peterson makes a manifold, it's very expensive uh, to split one into four. Um, but you know, it's, it's a machine piece, it's a very expensive piece. Uh, this is a much cheaper option because you're also, not only are you eliminating the need for those Ys, you're eliminating the hose ends as you were saying, uh, the extra hose ends that you'd have to have and you know, unless all your hose ends are mis magically going to be straights, which they're not, <laughs> they're going to be expensive. Well, right on. Well, thank you guys for watching and um, check it out on the website, tickperformance.com.